This morning, Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed the final piece of the Reproductive Health Act. The bill repeals Michigan's ban on insurance coverage for abortion without purchase of a separate rider and implements protections for doctors and patients. A rider is an amendment to a health insurance policy that can add coverage depending on the situation. It's been 10 years since the ban, which forced women to pay a so-called rape insurance. December 11, 2013, Whitmer, as a minority leader in the Michigan Senate, spoke out against the ban in a floor address where she also shared her experience as a sexual assault survivor. We now turn to Whitmer as she describes her address that day in December. As minority leader, I urge my colleagues to take the floor and express their outrage and share their stories. And one of them was about to, but he couldn't because it was too difficult. And that's when I realized how could I ask a colleague to tell their story when I wasn't yet prepared to share my own. So I took to the podium and put aside my prepared remarks and shared the story that I'd only told a handful of people. I talked about the time that I was raped when I was in college. Thankfully, it did not result in a pregnancy, but if it had, I knew that I would have been able to get the care that I needed that was right for me. I knew that in Michigan, I could do what I needed to do if it came to that. The decision about my future would be mine alone. The RHA repeals politically motivated, medically unnecessary statutes that criminalize nurses and doctors, cause healthcare providers to close, increased patient costs, and restricted abortion access. The act builds on the efforts to expand access to abortion in Michigan and repeal the state's extreme 1931 abortion ban earlier this year. Whitmer stated, quote, 10 years ago today, I was in the Michigan Senate fighting against an unconscionable anti-choice bill that would have forced Michiganders to pay extra for insurance every month just in case if they were raped or had an unwanted pregnancy. I shared my own story as a survivor of sexual assault and noted that any decision about a woman's body ought to be hers alone. Exactly 10 years later, I am proud to be repealing that same bill as governor. I am proud that in just 18 months, we have gone from the repeal of Roe versus Wade to expanding reproduction freedom in Michigan with the passage of Proposal 3 and the Reproductive Health Act, end quote. 